Today we are at one million three hundred eighteen thousand seventy-seven dollars. We have nine days left, or forty-five percent of the month. So we're over the pump of the month. So we're on our way down. Um, issues we got going is RPS four. Make sure we keep running because obviously we need to get to the next one. So make sure it runs well. All right, and is the uh, ERD all hooked up and everything else? Okay. Then uh, STM nine. Is that ready? That's ready. Two weeks. We, we don't have any material. We don't have the material. No, I checked on that this morning. It says we got 11 pounds that's sitting at the press. Oh. Press 10. Alright. Alright, you got that, Julie? Alright. Uh, 68, we need to get the CC1. We need to pull that out. Go to CC1. Alright, so you're behind on that. Um, and go ahead and I'm going to go back to some other stuff. Alright, um, Jimmy, we need to get BRN 9. In press 10, which do we have? Yeah. Uh, press 10. Uh, 32, did we get the C roller fault fixed on press 32? Alright, because it happened 20 times last night. So we need to make sure we get that fixed. Uh, we need to get to the light gray on press 7. Okay. Um, press 20, did we get that fixed? They couldn't move the press at all? Does that work? Alright, okay. And then, um, you know, we've just got a lot of presses down, and we got a lot of presses that need repairs, so we just need to stay on top of that and get, uh, get those going. And then the two samples for case the, uh, Jason and Ken on INS 21 and CG9. Get some more stuff. All right, uh, picture-wise, over by 14, we, we've got just a whole bunch of Gaylords over there. Um, I don't know why. Uh, I'd like to, I know we use this a lot over there. I'd like to find somewhere to put it, but the other reason why I took this picture is there's just runners all over the floor. I mean, I know we're, we're putting them in the grinder right there, I just don't know why we're dropping them on the floor. Uh, I took a picture of this as well. With BRN1, we know once we open the bags of material, we need to use them. And we should only have one bag open at a time that's in the dryer. So you can see there's eight bags in the stack here. And then this big hopper is completely full of material. Okay? Now, it's going to take us a long time to run through that material because we got to use it all. And the job is done in three hours. So I don't know why we're filling up so much material. Um, at the press, now we're going to have, we, we got to do a sample there today, so now we're going to have this material just sitting open, not in a foil line bag, collecting moisture while we get the sample done. Um, Taylor, did you get, did you work on the mold locations and molds? Because there's a couple of molds by 14 that I know don't belong by 14, and then um, when I went over to 26 where I think those molds belong, INS 18 is over there, which I know that doesn't belong there. Um, so we just need to, you know, do some do a little bit more work there. Uh, this is press 32. Uh, two things: there's just parts all under the conveyor, all over the place. Plus, it's leaking oil, so there's oil on the floor right here. Um, and then on the small side, this is press 58's ladder. I know they're not using it because it's folded up. If they're using it, it, it would be at least out in a, a usable position, so it's just sitting over there. Okay, so that's what I got for uh, pictures. All right, all right, we have, uh, don't forget tomorrow, we have the mayor coming in for a visit, so we got to make sure we get everything cleaned up. And also we got the Kaizen event starts tomorrow, so some of the other ones. So just double check. We're trying to put dates to some of those that are over there, so check on the dates of what's going on. I need an update for your next one for the group too, okay? For, for the uh, closet, I need a, not a new date for what we're going to okay? Um, improvements, if uh, you get a chance again, Maria figured out a way, good job, uh, figured out a way to put clips on, asking, you know, how do we do our part numbers, you know, so we can stick them on our shelves and roll them out. Well, it's the little clips, and if you remember, we took pictures and she had them on the side of the computer card. But we had the extra rack, so she actually took the rack and had the rack put up on the wall, and then color-coded between uh, single, duals, and triples. So now she visually you can tell what part numbers you're going to be running or what's on the rack, so you don't have to go looking down the list. If you know you're going to duals, you can start with the blue ones. If you're going to yellow, and yet we're still going to label it. So, good job, Maria.
Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, also, I wanted to go over, if you can please, we're having a lot of issues with board clips. So as of yesterday, we had damage by the bathroom. Somebody ran the forklift into the bathroom. One of two things caused that, obviously going too fast or else. Also, as we're jamming stuff in front of the quality office, so I'm sure it was either when we're moving the product that from incoming or we're trying to get the, the partials or something, somebody backed into the, uh, the wall behind there. Okay, that's a first in the 20 years or 19 years I've been here. I don't think it's happened. I, I, Roy, I know said, Obviously, the building was only built in 94, so, I mean, all this time, and now we're going to do it, okay? Also, outside, somebody obviously went too fast, coming outside the doors, probably hit the ice, and then smashed into the, the side of the garage doors out there, okay? It's, it's just simple. It's simple to tell you what's wrong. It's hard for everyone to follow it, okay? Everyone comes up to me. I try not to take it personal about the problems we're having with the board lifts. I physically cannot do anything about it. One, I'm not driving it. Two, nobody's telling me what's going on. If it's the same person, nobody's saying who's done it. We all make mistakes. The problem is you just got to be upfront and honest about it so we can fix the problem and figure out why it happened, okay? So we got to take a look at that, okay? All right, and then we have uh, Ken. We have an improvement that Ken and Jim worked on. So we got to show what we got here, so. 